what's up guys it's Dallas Gordon here and I want to talk to you about one of my absolute favorite new Canva features and it is called the Canva grab text feature so this feature can be used for many different things but with the rise of AI and everything I wanted to share with you that when you create your images inside of Dal E as well as mid journey sometimes the text does not match the prompt that you give it. So let's just say you want to create a specific photo and you of your logo, for instance, and you tell it exactly what you want it to say, but it comes out with some, some jumble, jamble, some other words that you don't wanna use. I'm gonna show you a quick way inside of Canva to be able to edit the text. And what I love about this is it actually keeps the font. So if you're really, really in love with the font, it's gonna keep that font. So let me give you guys an example. I was inside of ChatGPT and I was using the Dow E plugin here, or not really plugin, but I was using that particular option in order to create images right inside of ChatGPT. So this is the image that it came up with for me for my subscription box training on YouTube, which is running right now for completely free if you wanna check that out. But this is a thumbnail it gave me. So my training series is called the subscription box sprint. So when I put it in, this is what it came up with. It came up with just sub box and the guide and guide for beginners and it spelled guide wrong. And this R is doing something really funky. It's like a second R. So it just came out all over the place. So of course I cannot use this thumbnail as is. I love the design though. This is perfect for subscription box sprint. It described what I was looking for perfectly. It has someone sprinting towards their success, which is amazing. However, this box here that says success is spelled wrong, right? And so is this at the top. So what I wanna do guys is I wanna click and save this image and then I wanna go over to Canva. So what I'm just gonna do, I'm gonna go right up here guys and click create a design. And what I'm gonna do is go down to import my file. So I'm just gonna import my file of the thumbnail that I downloaded from ChatGPT right here into Canva. Then it's going to ask me, you know, do I wanna use this in a new design? So I'm gonna say, yes, I do. And what would you like to create? I would like to create a YouTube thumbnail. So I'm just typing in that and I'm gonna click on thumbnail. So now it's gonna open up the document window for me with a YouTube thumbnail size and it's gonna pop my image right inside of here. So here we are, we have these words, they're spelled all sloppy and we want this to be corrected for our video. So what I'm gonna do is just click on the image and then I'm gonna click on edit photo and then from there, I'm gonna go here under the Magic Studio options. I'm gonna go down to grab text. And what it's gonna do, guys, is it's gonna actually grab the text. It's gonna make my text clickable and editable inside of this image. So you see now I can edit this, which says the sub box part one. And if I double click, I can actually just change that text. And the good, beautiful part about this is that it keeps my font the same. So if you're really in love with this font, Canva is able just to allow you to use the same font. So I can click that. This is now clickable here. So I can now change the words or I can completely just take these words out if I want to. So now I can do the sub box sprint. Also this small text here is now clickable. So now I can correct that to really say training for beginners. Right, so now that's fixed. I can move this around now and I can put this wherever I wanna put this and make any changes that I wanna make. So that's amazing. And there's also some tools where you can move around photos as well, but today we're just focusing on that text. And even inside of my box, guys, where success is spelled incorrectly, now I can fix that text and I can change it and I can keep my same fonts. So this is amazing. This is a game changer, guys. You don't have to go into Photoshop or anywhere else if you want to change words and things like that. Now you're able to do it right inside of your Canva account. You can change the alignments of your words and center them if you want to. So this is just such an amazing tool. So guys, let me know what you think about this tool inside of Canva. Let me know if you have already used it and if you are just as excited about this as I am. Guys, don't forget, if you are loving this content, feel free to stick around. Definitely drop me a comment below. 
Don't forget we have the Telegram chat as well, which is a free place where you can ask me questions and get any updates as far and as well as free resources that come from any trainings and stuff that I post on the channel. The links to that will be in the description box. So guys, thanks for listening in and I will see you guys on the next one. Thank you.